So there have been a lot of different types of Bluetooth earbuds released over the last few years, and many have been mere disappointments, if I'm completely honest. This includes Raycon's own offerings with even the Raycon E25 Pro. So needless to say, I'd pretty much given up on reviewing wireless earbuds considering that I believe there hasn't been much innovation to look at unless you're willing to spend much more than most people. However, the folks over at Seoul went ahead and sent over a pair that will change my mind or my perspective, I should say, on the wireless earbuds market. So this word here is going to be a budget pair of true wireless earbuds with one of the tiniest exterior designs or bodies to them, touch controls, and most importantly, active noise cancellation. So with that said, introducing the SoulSync ANC earbud. So are they actually worth the $100 asking price? Let's go ahead and dive right on. Before we continue, don't forget that I have a Twitch channel that you can go ahead and follow me on for live microphone reviews and much more than that. But you're also going to find my Twitter, my Instagram, and a link to the Tech Summit Discord in the description. So come join the community because it is a pretty cool one. We've also opened up a Patreon as of late where if you join, you'll be automatically entered to win one tech gadget every month in our exclusive giveaways. Details to that are going to be down below. Don't forget to check out the description for everything. Now let's get right into the video. Now let's begin with an unboxing. It does come in this very nice little box, which once opened through the magnetic latch, you will find a plastic cover for the rest of the packaging. Go ahead and remove that and then just go ahead and pick up the charging case with the earbuds already inside. You will also find some replacement tips, a USB-C cable for charging and instructions. There are also going to be a carabiner, which I will definitely be using throughout this entire endeavor. So the exterior design is going to be pretty good here. You get some very uh, discreet looking earbuds that are very small and in this black with a plastic build, but they feel pretty nice overall. They have a somewhat of an AirPods-esque design to them, but they use and the silicon ear tip um, instead of them just sitting on your ears which to some can be a, a lot more comfortable of a solution overall this actually helps with getting a better listening experience because it lets you put them deeper into your ears as intended i do like this design quite a bit i genuinely have no complaints whatsoever about the way that they've designed these physically Another charging case is made of plastic with a soft touch coating on top that I do like touching, of course, because it does feel pretty smooth. And it also has a USB-C port for charging and battery life indicator around the back as well. And as you can see, I'm making pretty good use of that carabiner. And I'm really glad that they went ahead and included this in the box because it is a pretty underrated accessory for something like this. And it just makes it so much easier to carry around. And I can actually just like, carry it outside of my pockets in general, which is always a pretty cool thing. There's also a magnetic latch for putting the earbuds in in order to charge them, which is always welcome. So, you know, good job here. And in terms of its design, they have been doing so many things very right here. And now, when it comes to a $100 pair of earbuds, you do have to take into consideration that there's only so much that they can include while making these affordable. However, the things that they prioritized here are exactly what I would want to see prioritized on any other pair of earbuds, so I am very happy with, with what they did here. So you can pretty much say goodbye to physical button presses here because these have a touch-sensitive surface for gestures including volume control, hanging up and answering phone calls, skipping and backtracking on music, etc. And you can also use ANC and ambient noise through these. There's going to be a USB-C port for charging, as I mentioned earlier, which I honestly can't really emphasize enough, but this is really nice to see. You also get Bluetooth 5.0, which is always welcome here as well. There are some things that people would ask to see it improved in a pair like this though, but we will talk about those in just a little bit since there are some things that others might prioritize instead. However, I, I think that they've actually gotten it down with this pair in particular. Now let's go ahead and talk about the bass sound quality of these earbuds, which is what most people are here for. I will be doing a test with ANC off and ANC, ANC on, since usually you do get varying sound qualities between the two. But let's start with the ANC being totally turned off here. So this is just the sound quality that you can expect out of the box. These have some emphasis on the low end with greater emphasis on the highs from my experience. With some songs, you will notice an even greater emphasis on the mid-range though, which this alone can cause some muddiness depending on what you listen to. So for the most part, it is going to depend 
depending on what genres you're mostly going to be listening to. So it's not going to be like the perfect pair for every genre of music out there. For example, hip hop sounds pretty good here because it's not too focused on the low end and it, and it is more enjoyable overall, but it still offers a decent amount there. It's just a chill experience overall since there's a good mix of lows and highs. You will get so some of that punchy bass line but I would say that the most comfortable listening volume would be at around 80% for this pair. It's also worth noting that these have a very narrow soundstage, which means that some genres just won't be as enjoyable. I found my, myself enjoying genres like hip-hop, some acoustic songs too, that deliver on a brighter sound. So I would argue that these are honestly tuned for, for those who like bass and those who listen to music that benefit from a good high end as well. That, that includes a lot of pop songs, acoustic the guitar and more but sometimes the highs can feel a little bit too high i would say uh, but this will all depend on the song of course and i really might be nitpicking here uh, but if you listen to music more casually here then these are honestly a great pair for you like you're not going to find much to nitpick about these whatsoever but if you're like me and your library consists of mostly metal or orchestral tracks then these will lack greatly in that department if i'm honest just about every me metal song will get drowned out and i'm specifically talking about genres like symphonic metal death metal black metal and more like it you know songs that not only could benefit from let's say a flatter sound signature but that could also benefit from a wider sound stage overall however i think that most people will like this quite a bit since most people don't really li listen to metal anyway so i think that you'll be totally fine and i realized that this section was really long and i probably uh, can't say that it was more detailed than needed to be, but I just feel that it's important to address audio from this perspective, so do forgive me there. Now let's talk about A and C. Normally on, on budget earbuds like these, you just get a volume boost to pretend to act as noise cancelling. I mean, with more volume, you will hear less of the outside, but that's not actual ANC at all. That's just an unhealthy volume boost that'll burn your earbuds and your eardrums sooner than they're meant to. However, that doesn't really apply here, at least not for, for the most part. So I'll explain here. Now, the differences are subtle, but they're still there. I would say that noise canceling is more effective at getting rid of noise that's not really very loud, like more so of like getting rid of white noise or anything like that, or if, like, if there's like a quiet conversation going on in the room or anything like that, these are definitely going to get rid of that. However, the ANC here isn't really all that powerful like how you will find on other higher end earbuds. So it's kind of like distancing your music from the environment, but it's just a little bit really just a little bit so that the effects are more subtle and there's still a bit of that volume boost going on here as well but it's not really by much though when using noise canceling i would still lower the volume to around 70 percent or even 60 percent for the most enjoyable ex experience ambient mode just lets more noise in really which is totally fine by me i just really appreciate how there's no cabin pressure to be dealt with when it comes to these after listening to music for long periods of time so i do think that they did a great job here too in other words what i'm trying to say here is that anc was implemented quite well honestly on a pair like this and i can't really complain it's not extremely powerful but it's good enough for small thing. So when it comes to the battery life, you also get a decent number here. You get about 25 hours of battery life in total, probably about 5 hours for the buds, and an extra 20 hours for the case itself, on average at least I would say. But I haven't really had a battery issue w with these whatsoever. I, I do like them quite a bit. So in conclusion, there is a lot of value on these earbuds. There are things like wireless charging on the case that would be nice. Also, if ca a case with more charges would be nice here, even if it is a bigger case, since this one is already nicely sized. But that's really it, honestly. So I don't have much to complain about here. They're very comfortable and lightweight. The sound is going to be fine here like the sound signature is certainly fine even if i can't really enjoy my metal all that much but just about everything else sounds pretty good so i can't really complain all that much there again not that many people listen to metal anyway so i can un understand why that wasn't the focus here obviously anc is implemented nicely here too and honestly i have a tough time picking things out that i don't like for 100 bucks, these are much better than any pair of Raycons that you can get, and certainly really good for $100. So with that said, 
highly recommend it. And if you're interested in purchasing these earbuds, then I'll be making sure to leave affiliate links down to Amazon in the description. And also, I am going to be leaving links to Abunda, which is going to be a great service that helps you finance things over time. So let's say that maybe you, you want to take the payment of, of something like this just a little bit more easily or more like patiently. I think you can go ahead and finance it with Abunda, which offers very simple financing where you do not need a credit card of your own in order to do so. So links to that down below. I think that that is going to be a very use useful service. And there's also going to be Lesser in case you're looking for other types of alternatives or maybe just like comparisons that I can make to like other earbuds of around that price range and things like that. That is going to be a fantastic browser extension and it can even help you find sales along the way. So links to those down below if you use any of my links and I do get a small commission that does help with the channel quite a bit. So I'd appreciate that quite a bit. And also, I wanted to give a very special thanks to all of our patrons, especially for the tier one patrons over here, which in this case, is, it's going to be Omar right now. So thank you so much for all of your support. And then now for the rest of our patrons. And this is super important. I would just like to give a very special thanks to all of our patrons, which are going to be listed right here on the screen. Again, a massive thanks to you all for supporting us to help us create and the kind of content that we bring to you on a day-to-day -day basis. And thank you so much for supporting at the Tech Summit podcast as well. And just remember that if you would like to be a part of this community too, and then do make sure to check out the links to our Patreon, where you don't only get bonus episodes of our podcast, but you also get automatically entered into one of our monthly giveaways of a tech product that we have reviewed that is of at least $50 in value or higher. So links to that down below. But don't forget about the rest of the social media, such as my Instagram, my Twitch, and obviously Patreon, things of the like. I do make sure to follow me on those, and we should be good to go from there. But with that said, this has been Francisco from Tech Summit. Thank you for watching, and I will be seeing you all later. Enjoy.